Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to try out one of the heroes who got nerfed from the recent update and this one is Natalia. It seems the developers noticed that Natalia is usually dominating against the other heroes. So that's why she got the skill adjustments. But before we go on to her skills, I agree that Natalia is a bit troublesome, especially in early game. And here's an example of it. One of the things she can do is either steal the enemy jungler's buff or delay them. One Initiate retreat. I think you should retreat now, Valir. You might get hooked, but Give me name. uh, Valier. never mind. Valier. I think Valier will be able to retreat safely. But going back, another thing that Natalia can do is to get a kill after visiting a lane. King chose me. Now, as for her skill adjustments, let's start with her passive. First, they removed its slow effect. The one second silence after marking the enemy twice is replaced. Now, each time Natalia marks an enemy, they get silenced for 0.25 seconds. Aside from that, the time before she's exposed is also adjusted. Before, it took 2 seconds before she gets exposed. Now, it only takes 0.6 seconds. But to compensate for that fast exposure, Natalia can no longer be targeted or attacked while her invisibility is active. But take note that area of effect skills can still disrupt her invisibility. Now, that's only for her passive. But before we go on to her ultimate, let me just help our top lane. What's the truth? I think I could have lived there if I used my skill 1 to dash out instead of killing Franco. Going back, as for Natalia's ultimate, instead of a 2 second cooldown that can be further reduced by cooldown reduction, they made it fixed to 3 seconds. Well, that's it. That's basically all of Natalia's skill adjustments. Overall, I think Natalia's skill adjustments are quite well adjusted in this update, and the shortening of her silence does give other heroes a fighting chance. Before I continue, it seems there will be a contest for the turtle. And one thing to keep in mind when using Natalia, aim for their squishy ones. Nothing My targeting was quite messed up with that clash, but I'm glad that went well. So going back, I plan to test Natalia to see if this nerf from the recent update affected her in any way. Did this make her any worse? Or can this nerf somehow be a buff in disguise? That's what we're going to find out. Anyway, this is the build that I've used in this game, while this is my emblem. Also, I'm currently playing ranked with my squadmate here in official server, and they'll be our team's roamer. And yeah, speaking of roam, we all know that the developers recently adjusted her skills so that Natalia can now be better used as a jungler. But even with those changes, I sometimes prefer her to be used as a roam. I mean, is it just me, or is jungler not the best role for her. What do you guys think? Now as we can see, their Franco is getting a bit aggressive with Ayok. One of my favorite things about Natalia is her kit seems perfect in killing squishy heroes. Just with the right combination of the skills, you can kill mage, marksmen, or assassins easily. But even though she's troublesome to most squishy heroes, some can easily counter her. Matilda, Rafaela, and Cyclops are some of the heroes that can counter her. These heroes have AoE skills that can blindly attack Natalia, thus cancelling her invisibility. There are also heroes that is a direct counter to Natalia, and these are Selena and Popol and Koopa. Their traps can easily hinder Natalia's invisibility and then reveal her on the map. 
Anyway, here's an example of how Pupol and Cyclops can counter Natalia. And here's another one. And another one. So yeah, even though Natalia is strong, she still has some weaknesses. So you might want to ease up with banning her. But speaking of ban rate, let's talk about it just after this one. Now, I think one of the main reasons why Natalia is nerfed is also because of her ban rate. This was her ranking last season. In this new season, she's top 4 of the most banned hero in all ranks, and top 5 in Legend and Above. But since the season just started with her latest nerf, will she be less banned now? Anyway, let me just help our Yuzong. What? I think we'll have a team fight near the Lord. Anyhow, patience is a must when using Natalia. She's the kind of hero where you only need to enter the team fight when necessary. Though she's deadly for the squishy enemies, she's pretty squishy herself. So be cautious and stay away from the center of the team fight. That was one long team fight. Attack the Lord. One life. I don't think I can help Yuzong in this one. Let me see if I can try to burst the retreating enemies. I guess I'm the one who got bursted down instead. Anyway, I already have 5 deaths, so this isn't going smoothly. I'll try my best now not to die more than this. Shoot, I almost died again back there. And my targeting sure has its problems. I better stay away from Cyclops and the tanky ones. It wasn't me who chose King of Light. I think these two are just buying some time. It's better if we retreat. It seems like there will be some contest for the Lord. That Cyclops is quite brave since I can't burst him with his brute force breastplate. Just wait till you get your HP close to half. We got the Lord and wiped them out. I guess we won that one. It's already 18 minutes and we weren't able to push that match with that last Lord. 
I think we can end this one by either wiping them out again or together with the Lord. We could also try to pick the enemies off one by one until we push off their lanes. And as you can see here, my teammates got their Gushon surrounded. And we won! So I guess this is it. So what can you see about Natalia's nerf? Will this put her out in the ban section? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.